What's going on guys? This is the comic guy and before I start my video I want to say thank you to all my subscribers and anybody else that come and watch my video Make sure you guys press that like and subscribe to my channel Just to see all my updated contents. I come out with every time I do my videos yet again Thank you very much guys. It's always a pleasure to do videos for you Don't mind my background I'm kind of like redecorating the room, but I just had this big thought in my head and I really, really wanted to, uh, how you call it, let you guys know what is going on. Um, this is my thoughts on the DC Extended Universe. I've been re I, I rewatched Man of Steel and I rewatched uh, Batman vs. Superman. And have you ever rewatch a movie and kind of notice on different things and, and and Casper like you notice kind of different things on the movie on the movie itself and you'd be like hmm did I miss that like the storyline or or you know pretty much like the Easter eggs and stuff like that in the movie it kind of like leads you into like hmm you know makes you makes you think and and, and I was actually going through through the whole uh watching batman versus superman a little bit more than usual like i was really like really really um concentrating on there and there was like it's very a political movie in 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 question of like superman being because he was an alien he wasn't from this world he was more like everybody was like hating on him and saying, you know, kind of blaming him. I mean, even though Lex Luthor was behind the whole thing. And, and that's something else I want to get into. Um, but, you know, alienating him for being an alien from, from another planet. And, and being whatever it is that he, they, he kind of did. And they were kind of like pushing him apart. Some people thought that he was a hero. Some people thought he was, you know, a, a bad guy. So he had that good and evil... Um, perspective from different people that even Batman himself Bruce Wayne was thinking that he was he's like he could take over the world if he wants to if he decides to he's the mo one of the most most powerful <coughs> beings on earth at this point and then going through the whole thing and then I started watching and there was one particular part that I really I had to rewind the movie and really rewatch it again on the dream sequence when and a lot of people probably didn't notice this but on the dream sequence when um batman is captured and he's hanging there he's tied up and here comes batman flying in all the soldiers were all like superman so they had like a superman mark um the s mark on their shoulders so they were like superman soldiers and he came and unmasked batman and he said you took her away from me um, you took every, you know, you took everything away from me. It kind of reminded me of like the Injustice storyline a little bit because the joke in the Injustice game, the Joker killed Lewis Lane and Superman went haywire, killed uh, the Joker and pretty much became one of the most, most powerful villains in the DC universe itself. And it like took over everybody. So then, if you think about it, it's kind of like the same thing as the Injustice. Like, if you kill Lewis Lane, he will go crazy. He will take over. Nobody could really stop him. And then, and then after that sequence, like you even see Superman like with his with his um, laser eyes killed the other hostages that were there, and left, and, and then told Bruce Wayne and kind of like broke Bruce Wayne's chest or whatever he did or broke a rib or whatever it was and then suddenly here comes here comes um the flash and comes don't know if it was a dream sequence maybe or maybe it was real but here comes the flash and tells him she's the key to everything um bring us together so Lewis Lane is the main key for he won't go crazy because if you kill her, he'll, he's going to go nuts. Uh, we've seen it in the Injustice uh, uh, game. If you never played the game, see the storyline. 
it's kind of like the same the same thing and then you know kind of like it, this Batman versus Superman is kind of like the death of Superman and the the meaning between Batman and Superman so it's kind of like all this all this stories put together into one I mean the DC extended universe of so for what I've seen so far between Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, Suicide Squad. Don't know yet on, on Wonder Woman. I can't wait to see it because it looks really good. But all these other three movies, they're really dark. Wonder Woman looks a little bit more lighter, more more light, more more color, colorful than the other. Um, and I hope they don't change that because kind of like Marvel, how it, like they're real colorful. You don't want to go and, and, and change the dynamic of your movie because other people didn't like it. You have to go for what you believe. DC Extended Universe has a dark movie theme that, you know, I mean, for Batman, is actually great. Batman live in Gotham. Gotham is a dark city. I don't even think Gotham sees the sun. But it is a darker part. And then bringing Batman into that, like the new Batman, um, Ben Affleck Batman, I hope... Everything works out with the Ben Affleck. Don't go nowhere because you are, don't, don't, once you are, like, you are Batman and you go from there on, don't, don't, you can't cast somebody else because now that will kind of ruin the whole DC extended universe if you get rid of Batman. But they ain't going to introduce Aquaman, they're introducing Flash, the Cyborg, the, I mean, Wonder Woman, they're bringing in um, Nightwing. They introduce a lot of the villains like Killer Croc, uh, the new Joker that is Jared Leto. They introduce uh, Deathlock. I mean, they introduce De I mean Deathlock, um, Deadshot. They introduce all this Car Harley Quinn. They introduce all these characters into the DC Extended Universe. Amanda Waller. So they kind of introduce all the all, all this. They're already starting their own little universe. They're three movies deep. Man of Steel. Suicide Squad, Batman vs. Superman, now they're going to um, pretty much Wonder Woman and then Justice League. But stay in that dark because once you change it, it's going to change like the way that we think. There were so many other other things, um, you know, like Wonder Woman. It's like I fought monsters before. Uh, from the, They're not from this planet. So I wonder, is the, is the movie going to go that route on her on her? To show that she did fight something that is not from this world. Because she did mention that before. In the Batman vs. Superman. So, if you kind of like... You have to lead into it. There's there's certain things that in the movie that... When you hear... you and, and Like Batman or or you hear... Like on Batman. They showed... The Robin says... Ha ha who got the last laugh. That means that they have to do, introduce that storyline of... What Robin got killed? Everybody probably thinking that it's Jason Todd. Hopefully, it is Jason Todd, and they're gonna bring Nightwing into the Batman movie, and then Nightwing goes on his own, because we already know it cannot be. It has to be Jason Todd. So it will be interesting to see if they if they uh, if they go in with that route and introduce at least a little bit of that storyline into. I mean, it was mentioned in Suicide Squad. With Harley Quinn, that she was an accomplice to Robin's death, so lead into that so we could actually see what's going on and see how he got killed. Then, Wonder Woman mentioned that she fought somebody that is not from this world, so maybe it's Ares, maybe he's the big bad in the movie. So that'll be interesting to see in the movie. And then you go into the Justice League, and Dark Side comes in. And everything pretty much well. I know I know Steppenwolf is gonna be in Justice League One, so maybe it's gonna lead into Justice League Two, and that's when Dark Side, and that's when they introduce like maybe Green Lantern. Um, hopefully they they bring it in like the Green Arrow. It will be actually great if they actually bring more characters into the move into the DC Extended Universe. And I know they just started. And I know it, it, it's a long. It takes a long time to make this movie but i think the green arrow will be awesome if they bring the green arrow into it even if they bring like a little character i mean mark mark 
um, Martian the Manhunter will be actually a great addition to bring into the DC Extended Universe since they're fighting people from out of space. It will be actually awesome if they actually bring in um, Martian the Manhunter into Justice League. I mean, this is just my thoughts and my ideas on what things that, that they should do. Hopefully, um, I mean, it's not gonna it's, that it's not gonna get to them, and they're gonna be oh my god, this guy is great. We should uh, hire him and bring him in. But that's pretty much my thoughts. I hope everything works out for the DC Extended Universe. Batman is one of my favorite uh, superheroes. I grew up with Superman. I grew up with Wonder Woman. Um, I grew up with a lot of those characters. Green Arrow. I love Ar Arrow in the CW. I love Flash. I think. They're kind of different from what they are from the comic book, so I hope they kind of like, if they bring the Green Arrow, they should have that, you know, smart-ass person that the Green Arrow is. The same thing with the Flash. And we're actually going to see the Flash in the Justice League, so hopefully that's going to like pump up somebody and say, hey, oh, and, they, and, and, and pump up and say, hey, we need to get this movie done. They should actually bring it in Batgirl. The bad thing about that, they already got somebody doing Nightwing. They got somebody doing a uh, bad girl, but they still haven't hired nobody to do the Flash, and that worries me because the Flash is one of the greatest characters. He is part of the Justice League. So, other than that, these are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Anything else? You guys know this is the comic guy. Peace out, guys. See you later, commenters.